Our top story this hour is about Bhutan's newly elected Prime Minister, Dr. Lotte Schering, who is in Delhi to hold talks with his counterpart, Narendra Modi, on a host of issues. Red carpet welcome is currently being given to Bhutan Prime Minister. He is being accorded a ceremonial reception at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. On day two of his three-day visit to India, Bhutan Prime Minister will also call on President Ram Nath Kovind and Vice President Venkaiah Naidu. Later in the day, Bhutan Prime Minister will meet Prime Minister Modi and is likely to discuss Himalayan nation's five-year development plan. India and Bhutan are likely to review the bilateral ties. The two sides will also discuss economic development and hydropower cooperation on day one of his visit. Dr. Sharing met Indian Foreign Secretary Vijay Gokhale in Delhi. This was his second meeting after the two met in Thimpu. It was only last month that Dr. Sharing took charge as the Prime Minister of Bhutan. It is Dr. Sharing's first visit to India as the head of government. It's important to talk about what is going to be the main agenda for the newly elected Bhutanese Prime Minister. So for more information on Dr. Shering's visit to India, I'm joined in by our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibbal, who joins me live from New Delhi. Sidhan, a very good morning to you. So what is it that the newly elected Bhutanese Prime Minister is seeking from India? Let us know about what's going to be on his agenda. A lot of things will be on the agenda. The 12th five-year plan of Bhutan will be on the agenda. Along with it, the focus will be on how the two countries, Bhutan and India, can reaffirm their ties. Uh, remember that the, the long shadow of Doklam still remains, but uh, it, during the Doklam also, India and of course Bhutan have this friendship treaty, and that is why we know both stood uh, for each other. But as as we speak, uh, the Bhutanese uh, uh, Prime Minister has arrived, and he will be shortly given guard of honor here at uh, the Rashtrapati Bhavan. All right, uh, so we can expect the guard of honor in any time from now. Uh, it's also important to talk about uh, Siddhant that, you know, there's a certain section of the press which, has talking, which has been talking about how uh, there's going to be diversification in Bhutan's economy just after Dr. Shering got elected in November this year. Can we actually expect any diversification and new partners for Bhutan any time from now? Well, the guard of honor has begun and of course the focus right. is on diversification also on hydropower but uh, even as we speak we can of course hear uh, that the national anthem has begun here at uh, the Rashpati Bhavan. So those were live visuals coming in from the Rashtrapati Bhavan as our correspondent Sidhan Sibal just informed us that the Guard of Honor is currently underway at the Rashtrapati Bhavan in New Delhi as Dr. Sharing has just arrived and has been cordially welcomed by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi as you can see in these visuals. And this is indeed a very important visit for Bhutan. It's important to note how Bhutan has been a steady friend to India when it comes to other countries in the Asian subcontinent which usually oscillate when it comes to their relationship. They usually oscillate between India and China but it's important to talk about Bhutan's relationship with India at the moment since we all know it's been a steady friend to India and it's important to also talk about the four main agendas in this first foreign state visit to India by the new Bhutanese Prime Minister and in order of priority, it's important to talk about how he's looking for a fair tariff for the 720 megawatt bilateral Mangdechu project, seeking India's support for Bhutan's 12th five-year plan, and starting with the 2,560 megawatt Sunkosh Reservoir project, also looking for waiving of the central GST for Bhutan which has made it difficult for Bhutanese traders to actually participate actively in terms of trade between India and Bhutan. These are primarily the four critical agendas for Bhutan's economic future and commercial plans. And, and while we speak, 
You can see live visuals being streamed from the Rashtrapati Bhavan as the Bhutanese Prime Minister's Guard of Honor is currently taking place. Dr. Lot is sharing the newly elected Bhutanese Prime Minister has been warmly welcomed by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi as he attends a host of Indian dignitaries with the Indian Prime Minister flanked by his side. It will be much later during the day that the Bhutanese Prime Minister is also expected to meet Indian President Ramnath Govind and Indian Vice President Venkaiya Naidu. As we mentioned earlier, it will be during this India trip, Bhutan's priority will be to negotiate a fair tariff for hydropower, expand trade ties with New Delhi as the Bhutanese economy looks towards privatization and a greater expansion. It's been an open secret that the newly elected Prime Minister's part, ruling party, the DNT, wants to diversify Bhutan's economy away from hydropower and hence his visit to India has come at a very crucial point. Now let's listen in to the Bhutanese Prime Minister's address. Uh, before answering your question, I would like to take maybe a minute. Because uh, next to, uh, when standing next to your Prime Minister, I cannot say anything without saying what he says during this maiden visit to Bhutan. Also grateful that the uh, Prime Minister of India uh, he decided to pick Bhutan as first country to visit after he has his office. And uh, while I was listening to his speech, uh, Prime Minister Modi said that. India and Bhutan are very close, not because we have open borders. It's all because we have opened our hearts to each other. That I thought was very profound and I would like to quote that for the rest of my life. So it is, uh, thank you very much, Excellency, for uh, keeping Bhutan very close to your heart and uh, we will just look at the permit. 
Now, what to what expectation do I have from this visit? First and foremost, as I said, uh, I'm here with volumes and volumes of love and care from my king and my people. So please send me back with no visit after the end of it. And uh, while I was listening to his speech, uh, Prime Minister Modi said, uh, India and Bhutan are very close, not because we have open borders. It's all because we have opened our hearts to each other. That I thought was very profound, and I would like to quote that for the rest of my life. So with this, uh, thank you very much, Your Excellency, for uh, keeping the time very close to your heart, and uh, we will reciprocate accordingly. Now, what to what expectations do I have from this visit? Far and foremost, as I said, uh, I'm here with volumes and volumes of love and care from my king and my people. So please send me back with no less volume of love and care from India and people of India. That is what I would like to take back because uh, we must every day in our lives work towards strengthening the Bhutan relationship and during my tenure I would like to look forward to taking this relation at a much much uh, greater heights and that is what I expect from this trip. Thank you very much for allowing me to visit your country and uh, this wonderful wonderful day, wonderful people and excellent reception. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. That was the Bhutanese Prime Minister, Dr. Lote Shering, addressing the Indian media soon after the Guard of Honor has been bestowed upon him at the Rashtrapati Bhavan as he, accom he is accompanied by the Indian Prime Minister, Narendra Modi. We just heard what Dr. Shering had to say. He has thanked India and the Indian Prime Minister for sharing him with love. He said that he brings lots of love from his king and from the people of Bhutan and that he's also thanked India for keeping Bhutan very close to its heart and he's requested India to send him back with lots of love with a promise of strengthening Indo-Bhutan ties.